welcome back to another video for today we will be talking about manuka honey if you want to know more about manuka honey just keep on watching all right so a few weeks ago i posted a flat lay on my instagram about this products right here and i received a lot of questions about them where do i get them do they work what are the benefits and so and so and today i have finally had time to sit down and talk about these products it actually took me a little bit of time to make this video because I wanted to thoroughly try them on my skin first, how they work before I could share my thoughts and my thoughts and my review on the products right here. I actually have seven of them. The two are just of the same thing, which is their serum. And before I begin, I would like to tell you that the products have a different level of their naturalness meaning one product could be 99% natural the other one could be 92% natural the reason why this is the case is because each of the product have a different purpose one is a serum one is a face wash so they have a different type of naturalness so you have to be cautious of that while I go through this video so let me start with the smallest one and this this is their Manuka honey conditioning lip balm it is 15 ml this is how it looks like and this one is 99% natural the naturalness seal will be found at the bottom of the container or anywhere in the product itself um, once you open it you will see the product right there I have used this several times at night I don't really use lip balms in the daytime because I don't like the feeling of it throughout the day but this one feels very light on my lips so I use it at night just to condition my lips um, to prevent it from cracking or for any from any dry patches all of the products contain their expiry um, on the product itself so if you lose the box or the container whatever for some purpose you will be able to find it on the lid itself so this one is really good um, my initial purchase comprised of three products actually I first bought these three on their bazaars yes I first purchased these three on the bazaar a night cream the serum and the eye cream I've never had an eye cream before so I was very curious on how they will perform on my under eyes because I do have fine lines underneath it and I was hooked when I saw the serum the serum is just amazing it absorbs to your skin right away this one is 96 percent this one is 96 percent natural um, yeah it claims that this one will give you intensive daily antioxidant protection you are meant to use this uh two to three times a week but i actually use it on a daily basis because i love it so much and it's so effective now it has a dropper which is very nifty most serums come in this type anyway and once you drop it on your skin there it holds its shape and applied on your skin it just disappears it absorbed so quick so I was hooked the minute I tried it on the counter I was like I had to get this this one also smells pleasant which I really love and it's very light on the skin surprisingly so that is why I love this one the next product that we have is their eye cream this one claims to moisturize and replenish the delicate eye contour because you know under eyes are very um, thin and I thought this one is very little it is 30 ml of product it is 92% um, natural uh, I was kind of worried that it was too small but actually you need a very tiny bit for this one you need only this much and it will last you you need only this much and it is good enough to cover both of your eyes so this one um with this one i actually didn't see much of the result until the second or third week so you make sure to stick with this one you will be able to see that your under eyes will plump up a little bit now i have not been using it for a week now because i forgot to bring it on my trip but this one just plumps up your under eyes so if you have very deep um, lines and you have 
like hollow under eyes this one will do that and it also brightens your under eyes decent product for an eye cream um, if you're worried about the price do not worry because um, Mark and Shell they do not price it too high like the healthy options price because you know once they get into a shop like that the price would just jack up because they have a shop now how to get them they're actually very easy to get you just have to contact them i will be leaving the link down below where you can contact them on instagram or in facebook they also join um bazaars throughout the month so you can track them where they are and see the product for yourself and yeah the other product that i have this one is their um, rebalancing night cream and it's meant for a combination oily skin this comes in two variants of course i got the combination one because i have combination skin but if you have a drier skin type there is another one for you i like this one because the effect of it the next day is just amazing the next day i would feel my skin would be so plump it would feel so supple and at the same time I would feel that my scars have diminished my skin would be smoother and I can't say anything more this is just amazing this is one of the best night creams I've ever had for a while once you open it it has a safety catch which is stuck to the top because I've been shaking it um, I've been using it for about two to three months now and I barely made a dent I still have a lot of the product inside and I'm just gonna get some of it right here the product is very sticky it sticks to the container and I like that it has that texture because it means it's deeply hydrating and although it's thick it absorbs to your skin right away gone in several wipes how it is it smells really good too now the smell um, it's not a strong smell it's actually a very delicate it's actually a very delicate smell for me it's not a chemical scent it is a very sweet honey cherry scent I think that is the uniqueness of the smell of Manuka in, if I'm not mistaken and then if we have a night cream of course they also have a day cream um, wild ferns is sold by that couple only mark and chels when you're purchasing manuka honey make sure you get them from a reputable source some people may claim it is manuka honey but it is not so this one is their um, day cream it is also of course for hydration and it's for nourishing your skin this one is 99 percent natural now all of these products are paraben free they have no mineral oils nor do they test them on animals so which is a plus this one contains 100 ml of product which is a large bottle um, the texture of this one is somewhat like a water gel watery gel it doesn't look like a watery gel but it actually is so I'm gonna put it in here because I haven't and then it just disappears so this is how it is now the only downside to this because it doesn't have a variant for oily skin type for dry skin type it is only one throughout the day my skin kind of feels um, oily and a little bit sticky but that will take about a good five to six hours within the day so it is actually not the fault of this one it is my skin's fault because I have oily skin now they also have a a face wash which is quite amazing and this is the face wash um, this one is 99% natural and what is interesting about this is the pump is a rated so let's see. it comes out in a foam like that this pump one pump will last you your entire face so if you're thinking of doing two pumps you actually don't need to one pump is enough for entire face and the foam is very how do you call that it creates soft peaks almost like a mousse type which is really really good and when I use this on my skin it feels very emollient I would feel a slight film of moisture on my skin and it's very very light if you see that 
I could feel my skin being moisturized. It doesn't strip my face of the natural oils it has and it keeps me hydrated too. The good thing that I noticed from this is that my pimples would shrivel up after two to three days. They don't shrivel up the next day because it doesn't have you know salicylic acid or anything but manuka honey has antibacterial properties and that is why i think it cleans off or kills off the bacteria that i have on the pores that creates pimples so this is how it looks like and it's just so soft i could go on the whole day just mixing this throughout my hand so that is how it looks like last but definitely not the least my favorite their body lotion um this one is 93 percent natural and as usual it is paraben free it has no mineral mineral oil and it is not tested on animals um the reason why i love this is because it's not sticky i don't like sticky body lotions because our country is humid so if you have a sticky body lotion i don't like that feeling when i you know fold my arms or when I fold my knees I could just feel a stickiness no this one is very light and actually it can pass for a foot cream for a hand cream I brought this throughout my trip and I was able to have a good use of it and I was able to feel its power it's really effective and if you have dry patches like on your elbows or on your knees it will definitely hydrate that this one comes with a safety cap which is a good thing because when you're traveling, you know, it could get in the way. It contains 230 ml of product, which is quite a lot. And this is how it looks like. All right, so when you purchase Manuka Honey, how will you know if it's authentic or not? When you're purchasing Manuka Honey, make sure you have the grade label on the box or the container itself. Now, there are two ways to identify it. And this one has a grading and it says here 80 plus, okay? What does this stand for? Now, this stands for the amount of pollen it contains per jar. The higher it is, the more pollen or natural ingredients it contains. This one comes in three ratings. It comes in 70, 80, and 85. So we're right smack in the middle, which means it contains a lot of pollen ingredients inside it. So. What is another way to verify whether your honey is genuine or not? You have to know it's UMF level. What is UMF? UMF is actually an abbreviation for the meaning unique Manuka factor. Unique Manuka factor ranges from number 5 to 16. What is this grading? It is actually a trademark given by the New Zealand government to identify if your Manuka honey is a genuine article or not. If you don't see a UMF stamp on your honey, it means it's not a genuine article. Thoughts on Manuka honey? I am blown away by its health benefits, by its skincare benefits. I hope you gain a little bit of knowledge about Manuka honey, its benefits and what it does to your skin and how this product have performed on my skin and what are my thoughts. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you have any questions about Manuka honey, please leave it down below so I can answer it. And to find where to purchase it, I'll be also putting it down at the description bar. So that is it. I hope to see you next time. Till then, stay pretty. Bye!